really interesting stuff from Justin Fields, who calls out three of our players for just kind of being dirty, late hit type of stuff, talking trash. So we'll get right into that. But then he also had some really interesting insight into how tough the Lions play as well. And he, he just calls us different, different than any team that he's he's played against. So let's take a look at it and what he had to say. So uh, first, not in the article, he talks about Jalen Reeves Maben. So we'll talk about that real quick. Jalen Reeves Maben talking trash which I didn't really know about Jalen Reeves Maven and he's a special teams ace and Justin Fields even said that he's like dude I don't even know who you are but you got a you got a C on your chest so you're like a captain on the special team side so you must be like legit I'm just saying why are you talking so much crap so Jalen Reeves Maven love it if you knew that about him let me know in the comments I did not and I, I'm, I'm glad to, I'm glad to know that he seems like a quieter guy but now that I think about it he's kind of like juiced up and having fun out there so i love it okay justin Fields says you guys play harder than most teams i will say that y'all play harder and through the whistle but you got some dirty players on your team i'm not gonna cap he said no we don't i'm in ross lane brown said who's dirty alex anzalone which i i'd have to watch that now going into next year because um i don't I don't wouldn't say that at all, which is kind of interesting. Anzalone, he's doing a little too much extra stuff for me. I'm cool with the competitive. I'm cool with that, but the extra stuff, tackle me and get up. So it must be when he tackles him because Anzalone does not nothing after the whistle or like cheap sh shot stuff. You know, Kirby was was in the headlines there for a while because he's going for people's knees, and that did actually become a thing there after a while. But Anzalone, man, I don't I don't see it. So. Jalen Reeves Maven talks a lot of crap. Anzalone does something in the pile. I'm not sure. Now, Equinemius, who's Fields' teammate on the Bears, also a free agent, who we've all kind of just wondered about just because, I don't know, St. Brown. You got to believe if he's with his brother, he's seen his brother work. You know, his brother's crazy competitive and off-season workouts and all that crap that maybe he would be better because he's just kind of a fringe guy meaning he's healthy scratched quite a bit last year. So maybe a new new place would be better for him. Who knows? We'll see. But he's also a Julian Aquara, who's uh, who's now not on our team anymore. So who cares? But he's like, even out of bounds, you got to make sure I run three, four yards out of bounds because y'all st still trying to push me when I go out of bounds, just doing too much stuff like that. Now he said, St. Brown said, I'm not going to lie. We teach that. He would show clips of teams that were playing against, and if quarterback is one step out of bounds, he'd be like, hit him. It's legal. We want you to play. Toe the line. Like, if his foot is still in bounds and the other foot's about to not even touch out of bounds, hit him. Absolutely. I love that. It's football. Like, I'm all for protecting quarterbacks, for protecting guys when they're going out of bounds, but if you're, if you're, if you're in the field of play still, I know you're going out, but get out of bounds if you're going to go out get out of bounds otherwise the lions are going to hit you i love that and so here's what justin field said y'all play different i gotta give it to y'all y'all play tough and i like that and i love seeing that and that's the thing about the lions is like you can say anything you want about and that's again that's the defense right so we can talk about aaron glenn we can talk about being frustrated with him but the facts are that defense plays hard plays tough is a couple playmakers away corner <laughs> defensive end and yet they play their tail off and they're a good defense they're exactly what we wanted when we went into the season like be in the middle of the pack defensively and it just sp speaks to like aaron glenn's a good coach okay he's a good coach this isn't 1985 anymore where you're trying to hold teams to 10 points teams are going to score it's it's just, can you manage the game, not give up explosives? And when the Lions do give up explosives, it really pops out at you because they're really good at not. But at the end of the season there, we played really good wide receivers. The passing yards were really racking up, but teams do not run on us. Like, And I love that. You have to be good at something and stop something. So make up your mind. What's it going to be? The Lions have really drawn a line in the sand when it comes to running the football, and they're not going to let it happen. So I think that's perfect. And so interesting stuff from Justin Fields, who let me know in the comments if you think he's going to be around still. I I don't think so. I think 
I've, I've made this argument before. Justin Fields and Jared Goff are the exact inverse of one another. What I mean by that is Justin Fields cannot make the routine plays. So out of 10 plays, eight of the routine plays are there for him to have, and he can't even do them. But those two plays that he makes where he escapes and he's outstanding, it's just highlight reel, looks amazing, and you love him. Jared Goff on the other side, he makes eight out of 10 routine plays, first downs, good throws, darts move the chains, 15-yard in route, you know, just all the stuff that a quarterback's supposed to do. But then he has two plays every 10 where it's like, oh, gosh, it's like so bad, so unathletic, so slow. You're like, this guy's he's terrible. And so, no, Goff is really good. He's a really good NFL quarterback, and but he just makes a couple of slow plays every once in a while where, where, where Justin Fields is a bad NFL quarterback, but he makes a couple of, really explosive cool plays and it's like man this dude's cool and he looks sweet too i mean just he's got the chain the visor like everything just looks so cool and but he's not good okay look at the latest mock draft here chop robinson is now who the lions are going to be taking uh, at 29 defensive end and the big takeaway for me is as you look down at the end of the first round there's still corners there. Byron Murphy from Texas is somebody that we, we really like, but he keeps going up and up and, and just kind of vanishing. And then the other guy is, uh, let me find him. You know, Jordan, Darius Robinson right here. Darius Robinson, 6'5", 300 pounds. I've seen him up anywhere from the top 20 all the way down here to 36. Whoever gets him is going to get a steal. In this guy remember he was a defensive tackle at 653 320 or something i was trying to read about it but he slimmed down and he still has some incredible power but now he's got this quickness and just this rush end type of power that would be perfect for the lions and could step right in when you're 65 300 and you look like i mean this dude looks looks so good that that would be awesome so if you go into the second round kaylin king so the lions um chop robinson kalen king both penn state guys now of course in every mock draft they go chalk meaning what are, we, what are the two things we need defensive end and corner so everyone does that we know brad holmes he's not going to necessarily do that he's going to go find somebody um in the fourth round you know a corner in the fourth round or address it later he's got his eye on somebody he's going to do so we trust brad holmes we know he's going to do something more unique than that so again let me know your thoughts in the comments. Love hearing what Justin Fields has to say just because he plays against the Lions versus us watching. I'm going to watch Anzalone. I didn't know he was a dirty player, but I'm, I'm going to be all over it now. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see all of you on the next.